He will cause that person to go to another person and, and that spirit will cause that person to yield. Ah, yes. Now, more, more than likely, uh, uh, if that person understood what was going on, they would reject what, is, what was being said to them. But because they don't understand what was going on and that Satan is behind it, they find themselves seduced. Yes. That's why as saints of God, we have to be extremely careful at the things that we entertain. <clears throat> because when it, once you entertain something, if you think over on it long enough and you don't reject it, eventually it'll find its way to your heart. Once it get into the heart, which is the seat of our affection, it'll find its way to your will. And once it get into your will, it's got you. And so that's why we have to be very careful at the things that we even listen to. Some things we just got to turn off right away. <clears throat> Turns like turn off. Whoop, got to turn that off because I don't want that to get into me. Because once it start getting into you, it'll start getting into your spirit. It'll get into your heart, get into your mind. And eventually, if you think on it long enough, It'll move you away from truth. And so this is what happened to them. Uh, he said they had given heed to seducing spirits. Now watch this. And doctrines of what? Yeah. <clears throat> Devils. Now what? Now what is saying here? Come on. These are doctrines that originated in the demonic realm. Right. And then introduced to men. Ooh. But see, Satan came up with the doctrine. Then after the devil comes up with the doctrine, he then deposits it, the doctrine into the mind of somebody that don't have their mind on God. And then that person accepts the doctrine as truth and goes out and spreads it. And once that person, and there's something about the, about the devil because the devil has power and he is very convincing. Anybody Anybody that can convince one third of the angels of heaven to rise up against God who created them must be a very convincing person. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. And the devil was able to convince a third of the angels to go into battle with him against God. Anybody that can do that can convince a person to do something that they shouldn't do. Yes. We have to be extremely careful. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. And for some, when I was thinking about uh, about <clears throat> Jim Jones, down there, y'all remember Jim Jones? Oh, yes. And he got those folk down there and kind of and 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 convinced them some nine hundred some people to drink uh, some some pork cyanide. Grape juice, mixed it in some juice, and and convinced it. And then when, when we look at that, mm -hmm. we say, "How in the world could somebody do something like that?" Saints, they were just like us. Yes, yes, yes. it was just people, people that the enemy had seduced mm -hmm. and had convinced that they were in truth, yes. and they thought they was following somebody that represented God mm. and not knowing that instead of representing God they was representing the devil yeah, right. everybody that wear a clergy collar is not yeah. representing the Lord I want you to well, know that well, well, it doesn't well. matter how big a cross they had yeah. <laughs> well it doesn't matter what kind of clergy collar they had that doesn't mean that the Lord has anointed them yeah. Yeah. praise God and, and I was saying, saying to the church at home, I told them, I said, if I was up here in blue jeans and a sweatshirt, if I'm anointed, I would be anointed. Yes. But the robe don't anoint me. If I put a robe on, that won't give me an anointing. No. There is a difference yes, between those that God have called yeah. and those who have called themselves saying they represented God. Yeah. And that's what happened here. Uh, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Devils, demonic doctrines originally
originated in the spirit realm and then deposited into the minds of men. And they run with it as though it's truth. But the thing about the Lord, and when you have the Spirit of God and you have a desire to do the right thing, mm -hmm. the Lord will give us victory over those kind of things. Yeah. If you have the Spirit of the Lord, but when even when after you receive the Spirit of God, you, you gotta keep it stirred up. Well, <clears throat> we gotta stir it up. If you are saved, that's why I like when I came in here and I saw you all on your knees. Oh, that did something for me. Now, that's what I'm about. Praise God. Because if you're going to be able to fight against these invisible foes that we're fighting against, you got to be built up in the inner man. No boxer is going to go into the ring talking about fighting an opponent and he spent all of his time at McDonald's and he's doing no road work. <laughs> he's not hitting on the heavy bag. He's not, he's not, all he's doing is, he, now, if he get into the ring with somebody, he's not going to last. That's why I enjoy it because if, you, if, if you're prayed up, that's what builds up the inner man. And when the inner man is built up, that's what gives you the ability to resist the forces of hell. The Bible says, submit yourself unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee. He'll flee. No need of us thinking that we can beat the devil running. We got to have enough power, enough anointing to resist him and cause him to run from us. I, I want to be, I want to, I don't know about anybody else, but I want to be in that, in that, that uh, league with, uh, where that, the, the seven sons of Siva uh, tried to cast out a demon and, and, and the demon said, uh, uh, Paul I know and said, and, and Jesus I know, but who are you? Well, I want my name included. I, and Johnson I know. I want, I want the devil to say, I know Johnson too. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because we're living in an age and a time uh, that you need to know that God is working with you and through you. Amen. Because demonic activity uh, is on the increase. The further men get away from God, losing their fear of God, the greater the, the devil's strength becomes in the minds of men. So Satan is on the increase. The moral structure of our society Woo. is breaking down daily. Yeah. We're seeing things that we never thought we 